I mean, we were hearing earlier in the show about how researchers suggested that there could be a significant gap between people's perceptions of climate change and the severity of the climate emergency. So, are we taking the climate crisis seriously enough? Uh, Emily, let's come to you first. There's definitely been an improvement of awareness, hasn't there? But still a significant number of climate deniers in G7 countries. Uh, yes, which when we see the, the changes that are occurring around the world in terms of the extreme weather events that we that you that you highlighted earlier in the programme is, is quite shocking. Here in the UK, um, a recent survey showed that actually British adults do really um, appreciate the scale of the threat, the environmental threat, threat and, and rank it as being one of the top three issues facing the country today, above um, Brexit, immigration, crime and other important um, uh, issues. Um, but uh, but nevertheless, it is the case that we, you know, there are still a significant number of people who don't appreciate the scale of, of the crisis that we're facing in terms of climate change. It also looked in terms of how people are feeling and looked in, ter in terms of uh, the level of optimism that people were feeling. We can see that uh, here, this quote, and how, how it easily can slip over into feeling uh, delusional about things. And when you read the IPCC report, Dan, that came out this summer, um, which suggested it could take millennia to repair the damage that we've done. Uh, is it right that people, the significant proportion of people, are optimistic that it, they can fix it in their lifetime? Well, I mean, the solutions industry, and even when I read that report, it, it made my kind of jaw uh, drop and, and realise the science of the challenge. But there are lots of things that, that we can do, and I remain actually very, very optimistic. The last year and a half, people have really, really started to take notice of this issue. It has changed and it is something that is being debated. There are some people who won't take notice for many years still to come, but we don't have to focus necessarily on them. We have focused on the people that we can win over. And there's lots of great new technologies that people can em employ to uh, lower their carbon emissions. Yeah, I mean, that's another interesting thing, isn't it, Emily? A lot of people that were surveyed said, yeah, I'm going to do this. But the number of people who actually did it was much lower. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, just to go back to your earlier, I'm a climate scientist, and um, so I spent time in the Arctic and the Al Antarctic, and I've seen the scale of the changes that are occurring there. And, you know, it's quite right that people are, are pessimistic. But at the same time, I'm also um, very much part of helping develop some of the solutions. And where, I, where I'm optimistic, it's in terms of the, the exciting innovations and creativity in terms of um, how we can generate solutions that actually have all sorts of other benefits as well. Um, benefits in terms of improving air quality, for example, going back to um, uh, just the start of this segment. Um, so. I think, you know, pessimism and optimism is, is a mixture of the two. And, Dan, from your perspective, what, what is the role of business, not just big business, but small business in all of this? Well, I think, I think business does have a big role to play. I think we need to cut to the chase now. The reality is that this problem's been around for a very long time. People are really interested in solutions but don't necessarily know to, where to begin. So I think, for example, one of the things that, that I talk about a lot every day is, is electric cars, and uh, we believe that they are one of uh, the biggest solutions to uh, dealing with this problem, not the only one by any means. But things like businesses taking that seriously and having charging points outside their, their, their properties is, is a good start. So businesses can play a huge role by accepting the reality of what's going on and actually uh, leading from the front. And employees will uh, take comfort in that and will follow their lead. All right. So lots for us to work with there, but still some room uh, to improve.